Did you go to preschool? I didn't. When I was a kid, few people did. But now there's a new movement, universal pre-kindergarten. Every child in America should have a chance to start school before kindergarten. Isn't that a wonderful idea? Universal pre-K was one of the president's campaign promises. We need to enroll more children, and we need to start at an even earlier age. And 67% of Americans now favor universal pre-K, funded by the government. It sounds so good. Of course it sounds good. All they hear about is a little sweet preschool program, and it's for little children. And how can you say no to little children? Preschool for all children. For me. For me. Pre-K advocates run ads like this. Thank you to all advocates. Thank you. I love you. Like this whole thing, it's a scam. It's like some kind of a spin that they want everybody to believe. These parents hate the idea. Basically, parents are being told that we're not capable of facilitating our child's learning, and that's bullshit. There's already lots of preschool programs in place. That's true, and it's argument one against government pre-K. Most American kids already attend preschool. Parents pay for it themselves. If you can't afford it, there are subsidies and free programs like Head Start. But under universal pre-K, taxpayers would pay for every child. It's a flagrant waste of money. It's as if if I went shopping for myself because I needed a dress for a party and I went and bought a dress for everybody else who was going to be at the party, whether they needed it or not. Who does that? Why are we going to let the system that's already failed our children educationally in this country, K through 12, why are we going to let them start with our four-year-olds? Good question. Tuesday, even the president admitted. We've let our grades slip. Our schools crumble, our teacher quality falls short, and other nations outpace us. Government is providing K through 12 education, and unfortunately, we are in the toilet. That's point two. Why give more control to a government school monopoly that's struggling now? To say that they are the ones to define what quality is is laughable. What are you having for lunch? Mia Levy's not only a parent, she runs six preschools. I'm surprised you're against this. You'd make money on this free government money. I don't want to have to answer to the government. Our programs are so far superior. Universal pre-K would create one-size-fits-all regulations. That would reduce competition. Mia has to work hard to improve her schools because she knows parents have other options. The beauty of preschool is that there are a myriad of choices. If we didn't do our job, Families would go down the street to the next school. Public schools aren't doing their job, and they get to just keep opening their doors. But what about those impressive claims? Tuesday, the president said, For every dollar we invest in these programs, we get nearly $10 back. Those glowing statistics usually come from a study of Michigan's Perry Preschool. But that study followed only 58 children. And those kids in classes like this one got much more than just preschool. A teacher went to the family's home right. and counseled the parents every week. Right. Well, that study was an incredible study because they did have a, a random assignment. They had children who didn't get this treatment and children that did get the treatment, and the treatment was really high quality. Libby Doggett leads one of the biggest pre-K advocacy groups. The kids started with below average IQ. Of course, with that intensive investment, you're going to see some progress, but who says that should be done for everybody? But if you can do that with children who are so poor and so deprived, can you imagine what you can do with middle-income kids? Even if that were true, lots of studies say the preschool effect fades. Head Start is revered for raising test scores, but by grades three or four, those gains vanish, says education policy expert Lisa Snell. By the second, third, fourth grade, they can't tell the difference between the kids that went to Head Start and the kids that didn't. By fourth grade, the Head Start kids have lost That's any right. advantage. That's right. When they compare them to the kids that are disadvantaged that didn't go to Head Start, they can't tell from their test scores which kids had the treatment of Head Start. Problem six, studies find too much preschool may lead to disruptive and aggressive behavior. More bullying, Absolutely. more aggression among kids who went to preschool. 
But if you look at high quality programs, you find that children are doing as well. But why would you assume our clumsy government will guarantee high quality programs? Well, they're doing it in a number of states. Oklahoma is a good example. Georgia is a good example. Really? It's true that those states have government preschool already. Oklahoma's had it for 10 years, so has Georgia. They've spent billions of taxpayer dollars on it. And the result? Not impressive. Oklahoma has dropped in performance compared to other states. We don't want to just focus on IQ scores. We want to look at how children are doing in their social, emotional, their non-cognitive development. A lot Sounds of research. like you're picking the results you want. Oops, I'm sure they're socially better prepared. Your children will learn more in pre-K than you, you can imagine. This time we're going to get it right. We can't get it right with Head Start, we can't get it right with K-12, but if you give us control of the preschool market in America, this time it will be high quality. Government wants to help. They have experts who can teach the kids. Now with the economy being what it is, you're telling me that we're gonna devote billions of dollars that we don't have? It's a waste of money. When 2020 returns, the Border Patrol is watching, but not here. Where's Department of Homeland Security? Hello! Next, 